let's talk about the path of blood flow through the heart using a model. So this model is an excellent model because of its size and also the coloration it helps it make it really easy to see where things are moving. So let's remember that because I'm facing you in this video that our rights and lefts are gonna be opposite, right? The same way that you would look in a book and the right and left would be flipped. Um, so let's start with where everything begins and that will be on the right side of the heart. We're gonna begin with deoxygenated blood. So deoxygenated blood is gonna return from the body through the superior and the inferior vena cava, okay? So once again, the superior and the inferior vena cava. The deoxygenated blood will come into the right atrium, which is this area right here, the right atrium. And on the surface of the right atrium, we can see a wrinkly flap here, a bit like a dog's ear, and that is known as the auricle. And the auricle is extra tissue for expansion. So when the right atrium is filled with blood, you're gonna see that auricle kind of balloon out, okay? So again, we've got the superior and inferior vena cava feeding deoxygenated blood into the right atrium. So from the right atrium, if we open our little flap here, we will see, I'm gonna open the ventricular flap as well, we will see a valve, okay? And this valve here is known as the tricuspid valve. And it's the tricuspid valve because we can see one, two, three cusps on it. Tricuspid valve, three cusps on the right side of the heart. So we're gonna take that deoxygenated blood and move through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Okay, so at this time the blood is still deoxygenated. So we're going to go from the right ventricle up this way, which is called the conus arteriosus. From the conus arteriosus, we will head through the pulmonary or pulmonic valve, pulmonary or pulmonic valve, into the pulmonary trunk, the pulmonary trunk. So the pulmonary trunk is then going to take this deoxygenated blood through the left and also the right, which we can see peeking out right here, the left and the right pulmonary arteries. So these pulmonary arteries are gonna take this deoxygenated blood out of the right side of the heart and take it or carry it to the lungs. So we're gonna circulate through the lungs and then we will come back to the heart through the left and the right pulmonary veins, the left and the right pulmonary veins. And that will bring oxygenated blood because remember we just came from the lungs, that will bring oxygenated blood back to the left atrium. So in the left atrium, if we open that up, we're gonna move this oxygenated blood through this valve, which is known as the bicuspid because it has two cusps, one, two, one, two, or we could also call it the mitral valve. So either way is totally fine, the mitral valve. So we move through the mitral valve or bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, we will then move through the aortic valve, which is sort of a white button that you can see down in there, you see it? So through the aortic valve, up through the aorta. And the aorta's got three main regions. So this would be considered the ascending aorta. Then we've got the aortic arch or arch of the aorta. And then as we head down, this would represent the descending aorta. And up here at the top, we've got three little branches as well. So this would be the brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid, and the left subclavian. So this aorta is carrying oxygenated blood. These branches are gonna help us to deliver that to the head 
and the upper body. And then we've got this descending aorta, which is gonna go down through the belly and split and head down each leg. So we're gonna deliver oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. So that is all together the blood flow through the heart.